So now that we've discussed a little bit about some of the files that you might find in your Linux operating system, we'd like to take a few moments and discuss how you would locate files if you didn't know where they were in the file system structure. There are actually a couple of different options available to you here. First of all, we're going to talk about the locate command, and then we'll take a few moments to discuss the find command. Now the locate command is a lot easier and faster than the find command. So it's actually going to be probably your method of preference when doing a quick search for individual files. Simply because the command syntax is extremely easy, it has a cache database, or basically an index, so that each time the system updates, the database updates as well. Now you can actually force the database to be updated by using the slocate-u or update db commands. So those are some options available to make your searching more accurate. Now, a couple of restrictions. If you do not have permissions to the files, then the list is not going to reflect those files. So if you perform a locate search and you don't have those permissions, you're not going to get that return in the list, which is actually a benefit, so you're not being misled in the wrong directions. Now the syntax is actually very simple. If we want to locate a file by a certain name, for example, locate file name is the exact syntax that you would use. Now you can actually go in a little bit more detail and look for strings in a file name or certain values in a file name. You can even use wildcards such as asterisk or percent sign using the locate command. So as you can imagine, using locate command is actually pretty easy stuff. So let's take an example of using the locate command. We'll type in locate asterisk dot conf and this is going to display all the dot conf files that exist on the file system. Now as you can see that list actually went by pretty quick so to make it a little easier I'm going to go ahead and pipe that into the less command so we can actually have a text output. So now every configuration file on the system that has a dot conf file extension is listed in our text. So this actually makes it really easy to go through and locate those files, even if it's a configuration file, you can't remember the name of it, but you know it's there, you can pretty easily search for it. So let's say we also want to do a locate, and we want to find a string that we know says, let's say big, for example. Well, anywhere in the path is going to be the big name, as you can see here. So if we wanted to exclude the rest and say just big 5, for example, we'll just append that on the end, and any files that have that in the path are going to be displayed there. So pipe that into our text, and now you can actually scroll down and look at what's available. So as you can see, the locate command is fast, it's easy to use, and it's pretty much self-contained and self-managed, so there's not a lot of work on the front end for you. Now another command that's available to us is the find command. Now the find command is significantly more flexible, but it's also a little bit more complicated and is a little bit more thorough. So as we've mentioned here, it's accurate. It takes a little bit of time, but it's extremely flexible in comparison to the locate command. So there's also some additional pieces that you can add in when using the find command, some different specific values that you can request, such as users, the file age, last access time. So there's quite a bit available to you. Now the syntax, as you can see here, is a little bit different. We're going to type in find, but this time we're actually going to specify the starting directory. In other words, the directory that we want to begin our search in will be specified first. So if you want to start find in the existing directory where you're running the find command from, then basically all you have to do is just skip that piece and it will default to your operating directory. 
if you want to start and run for the entire file system, then you can just say find forward slash and then continue forward. So as you can see, there are a couple of different options available to you for locating files on your Linux file system.